Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and yes, I dumped 750,000 global XP on the Paolo Emilio, also known as the YOLO Emilio. So, is this a one-trick pony, or is it a bit of an Italian stallion? But I don't know, is it spicy sausage, or is it soggy spaghetti? Now... I've got mixed feelings about this ship. I've only played about half a dozen games in it um, since I picked it up today. Um, I'm not going to talk through this game per se. I'm going to try and give my impressions of this ship um, and its playability based on the current state of the game. And let's think, what is the current state of the game? We're at the end of the current campaign, and uh, for those of us that can afford one ship, we've taken a choice of either the Marco Polo or the Barbara. For those of us that have got a little bit more money to play with, they've picked up both ships. And there's a set of daily missions associated with both of those ships for the Winter Shards. And generally, I think the current meta for the game, as well as far as battleships go, is, in fact, pretty much any ship, battleships, cruisers, and in some case, even destroyers, is just to sit at the back of the map, hug a rock, and wait for somebody to make a move, and then try and pick up the kill and make yourself look awesome. I love playing my destroyers. I like the dynamic gameplay. I like the fast moving action. I like when I play in division in destroyers and I'm out spotting and capturing and then killing. I like to be able to control the game. Um, battleships are much more slower paced. Yes, it is a little bit of a thinking game because you've got to uh, work out where you're going to be and what you want to do. And I'm sad to say that I think, unfortunately, that a lot of people who play this game perhaps don't actually have a brain and can't think for themselves, which is why we see this herd mentality of everybody grouping up together, especially when there's a carrier in the game. They all group together because there's safety in numbers. And uh, sorry, but it is an absolutely diabolically bad way to play this game. Now, the Paolo Emilio itself, it's, yeah, it's called the Yolo Emilio for a reason. Because Although it is better armoured and has quite a decent hit point pool in comparison to other destroyers, it isn't really a destroyer. It is more of a mini cruiser. Now the torpedoes do pack a punch and these rolling smoke screens are a bit of a gimmick. But you'll see here on the screen in a moment that I know there's something around this corner and I'm going to use that gimmick to the best of my ability. But in doing so, I'm going to have to put myself at a significant risk. So for me, it isn't a destroyer destroyer. It is very opportunistic gameplay. You're literally relying on somebody else to spot targets for you as part of your attack. So you can see here that this cruiser has got me spotted because I'm so close. And it is only because I'm clever enough to pull the turn and drop the tops where he's going to be that I'm able to kill him and drop that detection. So it's very much an ambush boat. You can see there in comparison to, um, I think it's a Le Fantasque there, I'm much bigger than he is and uh, a much bigger target. And although we have got some decent sized guns on this, the reload isn't amazing. And so in comparison to other destroyers at this tier that are very much gun boats and or torpedo boats, you are at a disadvantage. The only thing you've got going for you is that hit point pool to be able to take a knock. Now, I've already fired my torpedoes in this one, and I've got about, um, I think it's 102 seconds, so it's at a minute 42 to reload the, these torpedoes. And with just over a 10 second reload on the guns, and that's, that rolling smoke screen is a very short duration, 
it's not the kind of ship that can sit there and can gun down battleships. Really don't like the fact that I'm leaving somebody on the team out there on their own against two battleships. But there are caps to be taken. Nobody in this game has pushed center. As is the case, we've come into this cap. The other destroyer has, you know, come from center across to the left side of the minimap. And so now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to push B cap because caps are king in domination. And as I said, this isn't the stealthiest of destroyers. It doesn't have the rapid guns that others have. It has quite... Mm, it's not the longest reload of t torpedoes, but it's also not the shortest. Now, that Fantasque out there, I know that he can get quite a rapid set of volleys onto me if I open fire on him. And I don't want to reveal myself because I want this capture point. And this is where me thinking, playing tactically, because this is going to make a difference to this game. There are three red team destroyers still in this match. He was there, middle of the map, sighted, but there is absolutely nobody to put any fire on him whatsoever. As I said, I didn't want to reveal my position. He knows I'm on the cap, but he doesn't know which ship is here. If I fired on him and revealed myself to him, then he knows which ship is there and he can then decide if he is going to attack me. Is he better than me? Are his torpedoes faster than mine? Can he outmaneuver me? And is his reload going to mean that he can knock me down? So it, it is a mini cruiser. It is a mini cruiser without a shadow of a doubt. And I think I'm going to have to spend a little bit longer playing this, which isn't going to be the greatest of experience. I've played a couple of games where I've tried to do a destroyer's job in getting out in front of our big ships and to spot and try and capture or contest caps. I've called for fire on radar cruisers and the rapid fire HE spam cruisers like the Mainz and the Suzuya. But with the state of this game at the moment, with the way that people are playing it, literally they are not prepared to take a shot. And that is what is bad about this. Wargaming say that they won't give us stat based matchmaking and that apparently this is balanced gameplay. They appear to put inexperienced players in with more experienced players, but all you end up with is a complete trash of one team or the other. This game doesn't seem that bad, but the gameplay is bad the way the teams work the map. Red team are probably playing this map better than blue team. Now, that Fantasque, he hasn't done an amazing job. He obviously sailed past us. Whether or not he went into that cap from this side or the other, I don't know. But here, I'm going to use my rolling smoke to um, bait him out of it. And he's lost that cap. So he didn't even take it. You know... He should have taken that cap before he pushed out on me. Anybody with an ounce of sense about them of playing destroyers would know that that would be the play to make. But he screwed up. So I have now got a B cap. I've already taken A cap. And I'm going to push around and try and support these guys now. There is another destroyer out here. And he spent the whole time on this flank. Trying to torpedo this battleship here. The Marlborough. And I really don't know how he hasn't managed to do it before now. This guy Charlie in the Hipper. Um, he appears to be running a meme build. Because he asked me to slow down a little bit later in the game. Um, so that he can get Will to rebuild. And I was like, what What commander are you using? He says, oh, I'm using a battleship commander so I, I can regain health. And I was like, what the actual flip? 
to be polite. But I am now revealing myself to this Marlborough because I want to pop a fire on him. I'm telling Charlie, you know, switch to HE, get some fires on him, make him burn, make him tick. He knows I'm here now. He knows there's another destroyer out there. So he is going to turn and run. Now, there was another battleship behind him. But that Fantask was unable to keep it spotted for the Hipper. And it's like, how? How how can you not see something that size in open water on the side of the map? And so now I'm thinking that I'm going to have to make sacrifices here. And I waited for him to fire his salvo off. And then I'm going to try and put another couple of salvos onto him before he disappears. But look at this. I'm taking fire. I have no idea where that come from. But we're going to repair. We're going to drop detection. And we're going to move out wide and spot inside this cap. The Fantask, thankfully, his two brain cells have connected. He's seen that there's a battleship going out the other side of air cap. And he's going to run round and try and pick it up. That's amazing. But we also need to defend B cap. We are losing all the caps now. And this is what I'm saying. Red team played this map far, far better than the majority of blue team. We had the advantage. We've probably still got an advantage on points. But they are now trying to pull this back to their side. I really do get the feeling that I'm going to die very rapidly in this game. I know there's a Marlborough out there. All these Marlboroughs are doing is literally spamming HE everywhere. And it is it is the meta for the Marlborough. Marlborough is either build short reload and sacrifice a little bit of range for it or take the slightly longer reload and still just fire round after round after round of HE because you're bound to hit something you're bound to get a fire sooner or later and uh, you're going to do some damage and this is the only reason why we're seeing so many of these ships in game and to be frank it's getting tiresome it's getting absolutely tiresome of the state of this game at the moment and i think i need to do a proper video on what i see of this game because to be quite frank, I really am getting tired of the same old, same old. I love the game. I really do. It's fun to play the majority of times. But the state of the player base, there is probably 10-15% of the player base in this game know how to play the game and know what they are doing with the ships. The middle probably 40 percent if it's even that high of people who are trying to play the game to the best of their ability in fact no i'll say the next 25 percent are trying to play to the best of their ability the rest of them just don't care and don't give a flying monkeys about playing winning all they're interested in is can i get the biggest damage score can i get the most kills you know how awesome can i be and can i toot my horn and say that's how it's done every time i get a kill it's ridiculous it's terrible i'm not in the greatest boat in the world i am literally half a dozen games into learning how to play the ship my commander is 15-2. It's not even where I would consider it. You know, 16-3 is where I would want to have a commander to really be hitting the sweet spot of making the most of commander and inspirations. And I'm still tinkering with bills, trying to work out what is good for me. I'm not quite there yet. But as you can see, I'm not doing too bad a job of it. But red team seriously have the advantage here as far as caps go the only ship left out there is the adachi the clock is running down
we've got this on points but i feel that that is only because i played those other two caps a and b so early in the game and that all those idiots that were parked on the c cap literally there was too many targets for red team to sink to let them capture that the fantask has gone all the way back over to c cap which is brilliant um, but completely bypassed B cap on the way. And if anything, that Fantask surely could have taken out the Adachi. Um, but hey, let's not go there because I didn't shoot at their Fantask either. But the clock is ticking down. We're back on the two caps. We've got the points. I'm onto this one. And yes, it's a win for blue team it's a win for me in the paulo emilio but to be frank did it feel like an easy win no it didn't we're on 70 and a half thousand damage we get two solo caps one cap assist we get the first blood and the dev strike um on the cruiser um, I actually can't remember what else I hit in there now, but 3,178 base XP for any other game above 3,000 base XP. I'd say it had been a good game, but to be honest, that was painful to play. But rant over. There you go. What do you think of it? Is it spicy sausage or is it s s the soggy spaghetti? If you've got a video on the YOLO, link it in the comments below. Let me watch how you play it. Leave a comment, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care and goodbye.